Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick like demonstration, I guess, using these Farbless brushes. Uh, I purchased them from uh, groomerschoice.com. That's how you spell it. It's F-U-R-B-L-I-S-S. -S. If you've ever seen uh, the Kong Zoom Groom, I think is what it's called. It's like they have like blue and pink and they have like long teeth, a little more similar to these. Um, I, those were the original things I started with um, and basically what these do is they help you get out undercoat and they also help your shampoo to lather really well. So I have two dogs I'm going to demonstrate this on today. The first is she's a Cavalier Cocker Spaniel mix. Uh, so she has some undercoat um, and the second dog that I have is a French Bulldog. So I'll be showing you on both coats. So, uh, so far on Penny, all I've done is shampooed her head and I left her body because I really wanted to demonstrate the difference. So this is uh, some Filthy Beast shampoo. Um, and I just eyeball it when I mix it up, you guys. I'm not perfect here. So, you know, I get some of this that uh, didn't mix in quite well, but I just kind of work with it and uh, use it to my advantage. See, now it kind of turned into just water and then just kind of. Okay, so I just kind of get it on the dog. Try to get it all over. So she stand up. There you go. Notice I don't force them to stand up. I kind of touch on their belly and let them know that's what I want them to do. It's all about uh, mutual respect here. We don't force dogs to do things. Now, I've noticed different teeth are better for different types of dogs. I prefer for a dog like Penny, I like these. And Sirius, uh, the Frenchie, he is also going to benefit from this one. I noticed this one is better for like uh, longer hairs, like Yorkies and stuff. Okay, so you see how now that I'm using this, she's really starting to lather up. And I have not used a lot of shampoo yet, considering she's a Cocker Spaniel mix. You'd think you'd need like, you know, a bottle or two just for her. Um, let's just gently pull her the way I want her to stand. Good girl, Penny. Um, she's been groomed her whole life, so she's a very good girl. Also has the most beautiful ears you'll ever see on a Spaniel. Um, if you're a groomer, you know, Spaniels have bad ears for some reason, I guess just something in their genetics. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna use this. And this is helping me to really get any dirt and oil or anything else um, away from the skin. Um, the Basically shampoo, the way it works is it creates like a push-pull effect. So, um, you're good. Um, basically what it does is that's how it gets the oil out. It has the two, um, what's the name I'm looking for? Molecules that work together and they pull the oil out. So that's also why you want to let your shampoo sit for a minute. You don't want to just like put it on and then rinse it right off. You're not giving it enough time to work. So again, this is the Filthy Beast Shampoo by Easy Groom. This is my favorite, uh, shampoo for... Just like my first shampoo, like I guess you'd want to, you'd consider it more of like a cleansing shampoo. And then I always go back, she plays at the dog park. I see her over there all the time. And you'll notice she's got a little, well, you may not be able to see where the camera is, but she's got a little mud running all over, but nothing crazy. She um, is typically in very good shape when she comes in. She's probably about every four to six weeks, I would say. I'm not exactly sure how often she comes. Um, that's one of my weaknesses right now is that I don't ask about pre-booking. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't even laugh about that because it's not funny. I need to do that. Um, but I did learn in this social media marketing class that you need to ask like five other ways than just asking in person. I was talking about like doing like reminders on social media, like on Instagram and on Instagram TV and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of off topic, but on topic, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna really clean all those little toes. 
This is also, if you haven't groomed a dog before, this is a really good way to see what they're gonna do when you touch their feet. I have groomed this dog many times, so I know she's not gonna do anything, but if you haven't groomed a dog, this is a really good way to try out how they are with their feet before the nail trim. And then once I really use that fur bliss and really feel like it's gotten down in there, I go back with my hands just because I like to really feel and make sure that they're clean. Um, this is also a tip on how to get your dogs to dry faster because if your dogs are really, really clean, they're going to dry faster. And it's also going to help you get undercoat out better because there's no dirt or oil to hold that in for you. Um, just to show you, I, I'm using the green one now. She's I mean, it really works fine, both of them on her. I've just noticed with the shorter hair dogs, the uh, yellow one seems to just work a little bit better, and I like the other one for the long-haired dogs. I like that as a variety, too, as opposed to the groom, Zoom Groom that I think only comes in dogs and cats, but it doesn't have different lengths. And for me, when I was using it on a shorter-haired dog, I felt like it was maybe a little rough. These are really soft. You may have noticed like when I was holding it up, you see how bendy and soft, like I could, honestly, that kind of feels good. <laughs> like I would like if somebody did that to my back, if we're being honest. Um, so as you can see, I mean, it just really helps it lather. I wish you guys could feel how clean she feels. Like I could really get away with doing one shampoo on her. I'm not going to, I'm gonna do two. I always do two. Um, but this really will, uh, like I said, it'll help her dry faster. This helps her feel clean and it's a really, really good product. And you can use this with any uh, shampoo. Um, the next thing I have to use, that I'm not gonna show on camera, like I'm gonna end this dog now, but uh, this is the special edition by uh, Easy Groom. This is a pH balancing shampoo. So that just means, typically that means it's more acidic. You're, Hair, skin, and nails, and dogs' hair, skin, and nails are between, I believe, a 4.5 and a 6.5. So we're more on the acid side. A lot of the shampoos are more on the alkaline side of the pH scale. I'm talking about pH, sorry, I didn't really clarify that. But uh, so basically, the cleansing shampoos, the harsher shampoos are gonna be more alkaline. So you wanna finish it up with something more acid to help to seal the cuticle and, um, Basically, that will make your hair softer. The cuticle is the outside layer of your hair, okay? Uh, you have a cuticle, dogs have a cuticle. And when you are shampooing, you're opening up that cuticle so you can allow out the dirt and oil, but you wanna use your conditioners, like your leave-ins, or um, for her today, uh, when, after I do the second shampoo, I'm gonna use this, the Intense Repair Perfect Bliss Mask. Uh, it has keratin and it's for straight coat pets, you see? Um, and she does have like a kind of straighter hair. So I'm gonna use the tiniest, tiniest bit of this, like literally like a dime size amount. And I'll use that like all over her and let it sit. It recommends five minutes. So I'll let it sit for the five minutes and then I'll rinse it out. And this will just help to close that cuticle. And it has keratin in it, which is the main protein that makes up your hair. So it will rep re rep <laughs> replenish the keratin as well as like sebum and other things. Sebum is oil that you and your dog and everybody else needs. You need oils. Um, so this will help replace the stuff that I'm stripping with these cleansing shampoos, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish her up and uh, I'll go grab Sirius and then we will show one more time the differences in coats, okay? So thank you guys, I'll be right back. All right, we are black. <laughs> we are back with the infamous Sirius Black. Um, he has his own I Instagram. It is Sirius Black the Frenchie on Instagram. I think there's underscores between uh, each word, so it's like Sirius underscore Black underscore the Frenchie. You know, you get the gist. Um, so I just wanted to like demonstrate. This is the same shampoo. Um, like I said, the Filthy Beast is my favorite cleansing. It's what I like to use first. Oh, and if you notice, uh, Sirius does have some cotton balls in his ear. It's to help me not uh, accidentally get water and anything else in there. I do that for him because he is prone to ear infections. Um, so you can kind of see, uh, this is my first shampoo. I've, I've put some shampoo on his head and stuff, and this is um, the Filthy Beast I'm putting on his body by Easy Groom. Okay, 
so it's probably about good. Okay, now I wanted to show you like what I meant earlier when I said like this doesn't seem to work as well on uh, shorter hair. So like you can see like, yeah, it's doing the job, you know, but it's not like, this one is gonna get in there and it's really gonna help it lather. I've just noticed uh, just through trial and error, just using them, this one just seems to work better. Um, this is diluted a little bit more for Sirius because he's got some skin issues. I've used this shampoo, uh, this combination of shampoos on him before and uh, his skin responded well. So that's what we're doing again. So we're just gonna really get in there and scrub. And on Sirius, I'm not gonna do a conditioner that I'm gonna rinse out. I'm only gonna do my leave-in conditioner. So I'm just gonna do this, uh, Filthy Beast, and then I'll be doing the special edition, which is again, a pH balancing shampoo, meaning it's gonna be uh, more, acid, more acidic, whereas this one I'm using now is gonna be more alkaline. So, and again, our hair, skin, and nails uh, falls more on the acid side. So when you're using something pH balancing, that typically means that it, um, it's gonna have a more acidic pH to bring it back down to the level that you need it to be. You want it to be pH balanced uh, for your hair, skin, and nails. So anyway, especially for dogs that have skin issues, I love the pH balancing. Uh, I just think it helps a lot with their skin and stuff and with itching. Uh, I've even noticed that on uh, dogs that when I put them in, their skin was a little red and then I used uh, this shampoo and conditioner. Uh, that's the pH balancing. I've noticed that their skin doesn't look as red after we're done. So that's kind of another perk right there. But yeah, you see how much better that shampoo is lathering with this. I mean, it's really like, love to just get in there. It really helps loosen up the undercoat and get the shampoo down to the skin. These things are life changing. I literally use them on every dog, every single dog. Um, Cause like I said, the green teeth seems to work a lot better for long hair. For a long haired dog, I wouldn't be like scrubbing like I am on a short haired dog, you know? Cause the long haired dog, if I scrubbed like that, I would have some matting. So don't do that. You wanna do more gentle scrub when you get your long haired breeds in. Um, I didn't have anything long here today. I had a lab de shed early this morning, and then that last dog you saw in Sirius, and that was as it on a nice sunny Tuesday. Um, for me, my grooms, I seem to be busier later in the week. I don't know about you guys. Actually, comment down below and let me know. Do you guys seem to be busier on? I, I would say I'm busier Thursday and Friday than I am the rest of the week. Sometimes Mondays are busy though. Have you guys experienced that? Um, okay, and to get the hair out, the best way i found is just I turn my water up so it's like really blasting out and I just shoot it, um, trying to figure out how to do this without splashing the camera, but I'll just shoot it down on this. Um, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now because this is only the first shampoo. Um, but yeah, again, these are furbless. They're, uh, I, I ordered mine on groomerschoice.com. I'll leave you guys a link down below. Um, but yeah, I just think they really, really make a difference with your shampoo and getting everything to lather and all that. So anyway, if you can try them out, um, I think they're pretty affordable. I'll list the prices down below. I, I don't know offhand, but um, to me, they're worth their money because they uh, enable you to use less product because since they make it lather better, you don't have to use as much. I would say, first of all, I went from three shampoos to two shampoos by using it, and I use less product every time I shampoo. So to me, it doesn't really matter how much these are because they save me so much money and time in the long run that they are worth whatever they are. And I think they're under $20, so these are so, so worth it. Highly, highly recommend. Again, this is for your short hair, this one's gonna be for your longer hair. I do recommend getting both. Um, and they're just so much more gentle than the Zoom Groom. And I like that there's a variety of teeth. You can see like the short and the long, really, 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 really great product. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. 
done after Sirius, but it's the next day and I have a dog that's really perfect for the other um, furbless brush. I've got my assistant here, Elsa. This is her brother, Percy, I'm working on. So let's get set up here and get that out of your way so we can see. Okay. All right. So yesterday we were using this yellow one. Today we're gonna use this one. And it's kind of funny how this worked out because all the dogs I did yesterday needed the yellow brush. Today, all the dogs I'm doing will probably use the green one. So I was thinking, I was like, you know what? And it's so funny because like something told me not to upload that video yesterday. I was like, I'm just gonna sit on it and then I'll upload it today since I did that Kenchi Fab Pants review. And then it just so worked out that I ended up having these dogs come today that are gonna use the green brush so I can show you both brushes. So again, same steps. Um, the only difference is I used today the Structure Shampoo by Easy Groom. Um, it's made for like poodle type hair, which he does have like very poodly hair. It's uh, kind of thin like a poodle's and it's curly. So um, I like the Structure Shampoo for that. So that's what I'm gonna do instead of the special edition on him. But I am again starting with the Filthy Beast. I just find that this one's a really good one. Um, for cleaning, cleansing shampoo. And again, that's gonna mean it's more on the acidic side. So I'm just gonna lightly, this is kind of what I was talking about, like you don't wanna, like I'm not gonna scrub the way that I was with Sirius because uh, Percy would be very matted if I did that. So I'm just gonna lightly get in there, wash his little toes. Yeah. Percy, I'm gonna call you out real quick. This boy, I know, I hear you down there, Elsa. He humps his sister all day, you guys. Percy, I'm ashamed. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just being real with you, showing my emotions, whatever they may be. I'm sorry, I just like, I'm gonna do in the head. I'm sorry, will you forgive me? He said, I don't even care, get me out of this bathtub. <laughs> um, so again, same thing just kind of lightly working around. And I would say he probably has about a half inch of hair, just a rough estimate. Um, Elsa, I know, girl. She said, hurry up, I wanna play with my brother. But you see, the thing is, I'm gonna let him out of here and all he's gonna do is try to hump you. So, you know, you're a good sister for tolerating it. <laughs> you gotta tell him no. I know, she's yelling at me. I didn't even think about that, that she'd be yelling at me for this. Um, I just got the, all the dogs here today at the daycare are all getting along really well and it's just like a beautiful sunny day so I've got the doors to my room open so that the dogs can come and hang out. Um, I typically close them if like the clients don't want me to have their dogs with other dogs or if the dog is easy, easily distractible. Um, but Percy is just so relaxed and all the dogs here today are being so good and I was like, you know what, I'm leaving the door open. So anyway, that's why I have Miss Elsa helping me out. Oh, I saw something. You know how often I have dogs come in with lipstick stuck to them? Why is that like every dog's favorite thing is to get in the lipstick? <laughs> Has any other groomer have that, had that happen? Like their dog, their groom dog comes in with lipstick. Actually Elsa, the one I just showed that was barking, one time she came in covered in pink lipstick. Um, and when you got it wet, it looked red, <laughs> like blood. And I kept, like it kept scaring me so badly that like it looked like she was like cut or something or bleeding. Um, I asked her mom about it and she was like, oh my gosh, you should have seen her when she first got into it. She was like solid pink. So kind of funny. I wonder what's in lipstick that's so uh, attractive to dogs. Um, but yeah, again, the same thing. Um, use the furless and get it all lathered and then go back in with my hands so I can really feel it. Um, this is where it kind of gets hard to explain like what I mean by feel it. Like I can, when you do it enough, you will really feel when something's clean or if like an area is not clean. Hey Murphy. Hi Elsa, you back? She keeps coming back to check in. She'll go and do her own thing and then she comes back to check and make sure Percy's okay. 
he's doing okay. He's doing a great job. Percy's a good boy. He's one I can just put him, he's like a statue. I can just put him wherever I want, move him however I want, and he will just stand there. <laughs> he's a really good boy. But yeah, again, just kind of lightly. Um, I like this because I feel like the longer bristles really get through the hair and down to the skin. You want to break up any dirt and oil that's near the skin. Um, wash his little booty. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing hanging there, which doesn't seem like for him there is. That's kind of a normal thing in the grooming world to have a little straggler back there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, yeah, so anyway, I just want to show you one more time on one more dog what the green one does. And like I said, I wouldn't use the yellow one for him. I really like the longer one for longer hair. Um, and I would use this one on doodles too. I do use this one on doodle, not wood. I do use this one on doodles. There you go, shake it off, bud. Good job. Good job, Percy. All right, bud. Say so thank you guys so much for watching and joining us today. Sorry the video ended up being so long. It was supposed to be like a quick thing, but then Percy got here and I didn't want to delete any of the dolls I already did. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna just film this too. So anyway, we're gonna finish up on Percy. He's ready to get back with his friends. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, bye.